I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite sewing notions and it's called the fast turn and if you ever when you see how this works you're going to love 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 this you can see how old I've how long I've had this because you see I've had to take my box up all the way around and you can see how worn the box is on the bottom it's pretty worn so let's take a look inside inside what I have are tubes and these are called, like say, your fast um, turning tubes. And there's different styles, I mean, not styles, but there's different widths for turning uh, different sizes of loops. So, and that's what, um, this is a really, really, really fast, fast, fast way of turning tubes. And these are what I call the little pigtails. And there's three different colors and three different sizes and they're three different lengths and they're called pigtails because I don't know if you can see that but on the tail end of them they got little curly cues and there's a little sharp point on this on the end of it and then it kind of curls around that's so you can twist it up in the fabric and turn it these have been in my possession for years this was probably one of the best investments I have ever made when it comes to um, items in your sewing kit this is one of the best, best investments. And the way this works um, is this is the, the pigtail and the pigtail inserts inside the tube. And like I said, when I bought these, they were a little pricey, but to me, they were very well worth it. If you get an opportunity to purchase one of these, please take advantage of it. I promise you that when you start using this, you will always use it. It will be your best friend when it comes to turning tubes. I need to make a strap that I need to attach to um, a skirt. So this is just a hem piece that I cut off the side of the skirt. So I want to make the tie out of this. So I'm going to have to join it to make it long enough. And I want my ties to be, I guess, about like that. So I'm going to be cutting about two inch wide strips and I'm just pretty much guessing on that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these straps together to make one long strap. So I'm going to sew them together and sew the ends together. But so I don't have all that bulk, I'm going to take one side and I'm going to slant it so that the seam goes sideways you know instead of straight across and add an extra bulk so when you do it like this you want the same thing going on the other side so I'm going to slant the other side as well and then I'm gonna put these together and I'm gonna sew them okay I've got my one long strap sewn together I'm going to sew right sides together because this is such a long strap uh, what I'm going to do is when I get to the middle I'm gonna start at one end and when I get to the center, I'm going to leave a spa space open in the center because it's so long, I won't be able to get it all on my tube. So I'm going to start from one end, leave about three to four inches space in the middle, and then skip and finish the other end. So I've got my strap all sewn together. And when I got to the center, as I mentioned, I left a place open that I didn't sew. That's because we're going to ride our, our um, turning tubes up in there. So what you want to do when you're using your turning tubes you're going to find a tube that just fits comfortably up into your strap. So I'm using the opening here. So I'm going to see and see that one pretty much inserts really nicely. So that's the size I'm using. I grab the pigtail that goes along with it. So what I've done is I've started inserting my tube in the center of my strap. So what I'm going to do now is you're just going to insert and see as you get here my sewing was not exactly straight so there were some parts of my strap that is very thin so if that happens you don't want to tear it so you're going to go with a smaller tube so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another tube that's a little smaller and I'm going to insert the tube all the way in to the strap till I get to the very end and you see how it's just bunched up it's all scrunched up on here and I close the end up 
this is where your pigtail comes in place and I'm gonna switch and get the thinner one because this fabric is kind of thin you grab your pigtail you're going to insert the pigtail in the bottom half of the turning tube and when you get to the top of the turning tube you're gonna poke it out so if you can see that see how I poked it out and you're gonna make sure the the pigtail comes out all the way and what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn and that's the reason for the pigtail is because you want to turn it up in there and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it I'm pulling I'm pulling this end and I'm pushing this in at the same time push and pull push and pull push and pull and see what happens when you do that you pull the pigtail out and here is your strap it's being turned inside the tube so as I pull it see how it's just pulling it out it just pulls it right out now when I get to the center because that's just one side I turn so I'm going to take this out and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side insert the tube into the strap push it all the way to the end scrunching downward as we go because this thing will hold a lot a lot of strap so now put the pigtail back in do the little twist at the end till it comes out pull and push and now your strap is done that is the fastest way to turn a tube that I've ever seen and what you're gonna do on this is you're just gonna simply sew that together and you can either do it with a top stitch or or a hand whip stitch and that's how easy it is to turn tubes using the fast turn tube kit hope you get one of these happy sewing <laughs>